If you're looking for economic statistics and you're unsure where to start, then you'll want to check out BEA's interactive data tool. We're going to give you a quick tour so that you'll be able to find your own way to lots of BEA data. Let's go to BEA's website, BEA.gov. Right on top of the front page, you'll see a heading, Tools. You want to start there. Hover over Tools, and you'll see the first option, Interactive Data. Once you click on that, you're on your way to accessing a treasure trove of BEA data. You'll see four big groupings of data, national, industry, international, and regional data. Let's say you're looking for national GDP statistics or national consumer spending figures or business investment nationwide. Then click on GDP and personal income under the national data section. Looking for how industries are doing and their contribution to the overall economy? Click on GDP by industry under the industry data section. If you're interested in trade and direct investment statistics between the United States and other countries, then select international transactions for trade and the direct investment option for direct investment data. If you want to see personal income or GDP for your state, metro area, or county, select GDP and personal income under the regional data section. Those are just a few examples of what we have to offer, but there's so much more for you to explore when you have the time. For our quick tour, let's explore GDP stats on a national level. Specifically, let's look up the U.S. economy's growth rate in a given quarter. Select GDP and personal income under the national data section. Let's select begin using the data. You'll see there are lots of options to choose among. You want section one, domestic product and income. Now click on table 1.1.1 for the percent change in real or inflation adjusted GDP. You can see growth rates or declines for GDP by quarter. If you want data for different quarters or even years, click on the modify icon. Quarterly data goes back to 1947 and annual data back to 1929. Here's how you can pull data for different time periods using the modify button. You select the box next to first year and select the earliest year of your choice. Next, click the box next to last year and select the most recent year of your choice. You can also gather your information by quarters or annual in the series section. If you selected many years, you'll notice you can take the horizontal bar on the bottom of the table and scroll side to side and compare figures for GDP and its major components over the years. Want to chart the data you pulled? Click the chart button located next to the modify button. After selecting the chart button, you'll automatically see your economic data in a line chart format. You can select a maximum of 10 categories to chart at one time. If you prefer a bar chart, just click the bar chart icon located between category selections and the chart. Also, take notice of the gray and blue line at the very bottom of the chart. At each end of the bar, you'll see something that looks like a pause button. Hover over one of those two buttons and drag them to the left or right. This allows you to zoom in and focus on specific years of your choice. In the current chart format, these buttons are all grayed out. Don't worry, that's not a glitch. The download and print options are available on the graph itself. If you want to download your chart, click the arrow in the upper right corner of the chart. This gives you the option to download and save the chart to your computer. To download, share, or print the information in the table format, you need to select the table button to get out of the chart format. Next, click the download button. We offer three downloadable formats, Microsoft Excel, Adobe PDF, or CSV format. To print your data, click the print buttons, and if you want to share the data you discovered via social media, hit the share button. You can also map your data. Let's get started by selecting GDP and personal income under the regional data section. Then select begin mapping the data. You can see economic data by state, metro area, or county. 
Let's find the personal income of some of the counties in Alabama. Since we are searching for economic information by county, let's select personal income and employment by county. Here, we can set the criteria for what we want. Let's leave the state selection on Alabama and we'll leave the other preferences as it is. Select the year of your choice, then select next step. Here is the map of all of the counties in Alabama. Take your cursor and hover over any county of your choice and you'll see the personal income figure for that county. You can take that number and compare it to the legend at the bottom of the map. Hover over the down arrow or download button located in the upper right section of the map and you'll see three download options for the map. You can also change from the map format to either chart or table format by clicking on your preferred button. If you are looking for quick snapshots of data featuring recent time periods, we have some additional tools for you. Country Facts is an easy way to get recent trade and investment stats between the United States and other countries. Bear Facts gives you select economic data for states, metro areas, and counties. Industry Facts provides GDP and gross output, principally a measure of sales or receipts for a variety of industries. And that's the end of our quick tour. You can call Public Affairs Customer Service Line at 301-278-9004 or email us at customerservice at bea.gov.